Hey everyone, so I cannot believe that we finished Vlogmas. Yay, this is amazing. It's the first time I've ever completed Vlogmas out of the three years that I've attempted it. So this was the third year and I almost did it the first year, failed dramatically the second year because that was like right when I signed with, or actually has it been four years that I've tried to do it? Because the first year, it was almost successful. The second year was a fail because of Ipsy. I was so busy with Ipsy that I couldn't keep up with the vlogging. The third year, it was kind of iffy. And then this year, yeah. This year was my first year of ever completing it. So I'm so proud of myself and I'm so excited to be continuing vlogging. So I'm planning on doing Monday through Friday and then taking the Saturday and Sunday off and then coming back Monday through Friday. Just kind of treat it like a regular job and not like overexert myself and get too like burnt out but I love vlogging and I really want to keep it up with you guys so first off right now I am actually packing up if you guys can see I am packing up all the stuff right now for the giveaways so I can have Joel ship them out I'm actually making more boxes right now because I've got this filled and I have a ton of boxes in my room filled as well so I my goal right now is to start getting these piles to go down. So I'm gonna start putting stuff in little boxes that I can just reuse, like this one is from Pixie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse this one and make it like a little mystery box giveaway. Um, I have a mystery box giveaway already here that I reused the box for. So this one's waiting, ready to go out to someone. Um, and I'm just gonna have them stacked up here and then Joel will just grab them and I'll give him the address and he'll ship them out. So that is what I'm doing right now. guys so I got a package in the mail that I want to share with you so if you guys saw my Instagram a while ago I was um, Instagramming Stephanie's vlog as well as glams and she had this really cool like Polaroid printer and I was actually gonna purchase it right then but then Riley was like I want to breastfeed <laughs> so I never got around to it and then she actually DM'd me and she was like oh my gosh that is exactly what I got you for Christmas and I was like oh my goodness okay well good thing I didn't order it but that is the most sweetest gift ever thank you so much Stephanie for all of these gifts these are this is so much like you are amazing and you are so sweet um, I want to show you guys the stuff that she sent over because it's seriously such a great gift idea especially if someone has a baby it's just this thing is the coolest thing ever so she got me the Kodak mini 2 instant photo printer so it looks like this right here so it easily just prints out I guess it just hooks up to your phone wirelessly and it prints out the pictures which is amazing because I do have like a scrapbook and an album going for her and I'm like oh this is so difficult to like go and like also to print out pictures and have to go pick them up this makes it so much easier and she said it's amazing so I'm so excited thank you so much Stephanie she also got us um, the Kodak all-in-one mini cartridge so some extra cartridges right there and then, oh, this is so cute. This is the Polaroid quilted cover photo album right here. So it's a little photo album that will fit the pictures perfectly, like so. Oh, these are so cute. It's like little mini ones. I love it. Oh, yes. Okay, this is perfect. Because honestly, like these days, like I feel people don't print out pictures like they used to back in the day because everything is digital now, but then it's not the same. I feel like it's so much nicer to have like the actual like pictures in your hands. And so she also like, I think it was like this whole kit, which is awesome. So right here is also some pins and some decorative pieces that you can do for scrapbooking because I do do scrapbooking. I don't do it as extensive as I used to. Like I used to like bust out the Cricut and I would have like layers upon layers and I would be doing all these things like it would literally take me maybe two hours to do just two pages it's in like a whole spread because i will literally sit there and just go to detail and i just don't have that time so this is really nice because this will make it really nice and easy actually this is like hanging frame square so you can hang them but i would actually use these in the scrapbook i think that would be really cute because you can even um use it like twine in there too and just kind of decorate with it so that would be really easy but um, also in here, there's also some great stickers. So here are the stickers, which are perfect to help decorate. And it's a little bit easier than having to do the Cricut where you're cutting out the shapes. And 
what I don't know how the crickets are these days. I have the like one of the first ones that came out and it was like layers and I would even have this little sticker machine where you would roll it through and it would make the paper a, st a sticker. You could even do it with um, pictures and stuff like that. And you just roll it through and then I would just layer them because a lot of the little creatures, they would have multiple layers to them and you would have to slightly like, you know, take them out so you don't accidentally rip it. And then I would make it to stickers and layer it on top of each other and then make it into another sticker where I can put it in the spread. Um, I have a bunch of scrapbooks that I would show you that are all the way tucked in the back of the Harry Potter closet, but they're all of my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I was really into scrapbooking was back in like 2008. Um, I kind of like didn't have time for it anymore after that, but I got, 2008 was, that was before I met Joel. And that's when I was really, really into it. I really loved it. But, um, so there's some great little stickers in here. So we have some happy birthday ones, Polaroid ones right here. Oh, I love how retro these are. Then we even have some letters. And then I love you's, graduation. Oh, this would be perfect for our Europe trip that we did last year. Oh, how fun. And then here's some cute little baby ones. And then also some wedding ones right here. So this is really adorable. And then also the photo creatives. Oh, these are decorative borders too, which is awesome. Okay, that's cool. And then um, also some markers to decorate the pages with and write things on. And then a great little case to hold the printer in there. So th let me show you what the printer looks like. So here is the printer right here. This is what it looks like. And it has like a little, um, I believe it's a little charger right there that you can just plug right into the wall and then it will print out the pictures right through here, which is really, really cute. And I love it how efficient and easy that's gonna be. So I think it's gonna be like really fun to take pictures like for my camera too, for my camera phone. And some of I haven't had a chance to go and print out at like the store. So I think that'd be great. And I can't wait to decorate with it. I'm definitely gonna do a vlog on that because I think it's gonna be so much fun to just sit and just be artsy and stuff. But thank you so much, Stephanie. You are the sweetest. Oh, I hope you guys had a great holiday season. Um, I am so excited to be playing with these because I saw it in her vlog and I was like, oh my God, that is the coolest thing ever. And it really is like the best gift idea, especially if someone just had a baby because it's so easy to print out the pictures. It's very, very convenient. But yeah, anyways, I just ate right now. I have Riley right next to me. Hi. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to clean this up and I'm gonna work on my computer a little bit. Hopefully get some stuff done. Probably feed her. I just nursed her right now, but she never gets so much milk from me. So it's only gonna tire over for so long. So I'll probably have to feed her a bottle here soon. And then I think my mom, you know, my sister's gonna be coming over here, but not until later. It's only 12.30 right now. And they're going to a movie at like two. They're gonna stop by on the way home, so I won't see him until a little bit later, but yeah. All right, computer time. Riley, are you enjoying your playtime? Okay. Yeah. So funny, she's really enjoying it. It's like her favorite toy. Auntie Ashy. <laughs> and we have little Riley back in this playing with it again. And we're watching Gremlins and Joel's cooking dinner. Huh. Did we just change you in your PJs? We just found these ones. These are by Little Me. And they're really nice. They're actually nice and thick. She loves this toy. <laughs> she's here <laughs> 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 She did. That's my baby. Alright, so while I have my sister here holding Riley, she just fed her, I want to open up some of your cards that you guys sent to us, which I absolutely love. So here's the first one. I hope you guys all had a really good Christmas. We had a good Christmas. Yes, we did. It was a, it was a long Christmas. Ashley held Riley for most of the present opening. It took us how long to open the presents? It took us like, what, three hours? We started, no, we ate. So like 11 to 12. Yeah. Yeah, it took us like three hours. It took us like three hours. Because <laughs> we had <laughs> we had brunch and then we did presents afterwards. We used to do presents before brunch and we've discovered that doesn't work out very well. So now we're doing brunch first and then presents. We'll see how long that lasts when like kids, when the kids like turn like three and four. 
It might speed up Christmas. This is the kids get older and they just like tear through their gifts. That's true. It's like there's no being. Well, I I know Joel. And he's like a, he's like, very much a dictator about everyone has to open up theirs one at a time. Oh really? Mm -hmm. And we were the same way. Yeah. One at a time because we had to like. And then if you know, do you notice? This is really funny. But do you notice that every single that <laughs> that people that. <laughs> Let me get the words out. Did you notice? <laughs> do you notice that some people like they are like, oh no, you go first. They want to be the last one opening up gifts. When you're young, when I'm I, an adult, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I noticed it with Joel. I noticed it with Joel, and I noticed it with Christopher. They want to be the last one. They want to be the last one. <laughs> I noticed it. No, like when I turned like like 17, I got over it. <laughs> yeah, and now it's just like. Eh. I, I just noticed it. I so. still like opening them, but I don't need to be the last one. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, so first off, here is the Christmas card. How cute. It says, Mass and Joel, Riley, and Puppies. Aw. I watch all your videos and vlogs. You're an amazing and sweet family. Happy holidays, Rhonda. Thank you so much, Rhonda. You're so sweet. Happy holidays to you and your family. I feel like right now, we're in like this, I hate this like little limbo phase that we're in between Christmas and New Year's Eve. <laughs> like I, I want to be so lazy. I'm like not ready to go back to like getting into a grind again of working. Yeah. You're like in a, like a haze. I have to work tomorrow though. I know. Well you get to work from home, so that's a little bit easier, yeah. right? It still sucks though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's really cute too. Look at the glitter on it. It says, Merry Christmas, Madison. Much love from my family to yours. Congrats on your precious baby girl. Aw, thank you. Oh my God, Becky. Oh, thank you, Becky, so much for the sweet card. Oh, it's so cute. And then we have one more. And this is also really cute right here. Oh, look, it even has like the back as well. I'm gonna cover up the address. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I think I know who this is from. This is from our photographer that did our wedding pictures. It has like a bunch of things like no excitement, so I decided not to demand promise or guilt. And this is what they ended up with. So it's a bunch of little things like saying like, I decided to have a Christmas card, but then the kids just weren't for it kind of thing. So it looks like that. And it says, where art, <laughs> where art everyone? Woof, woof, woof. This is their dog. So it looks like there's no kiddos in this one. Oh, look it. <laughs> it's like, wow. I brought the idea of a Christmas card and then the kids weren't in for it. <laughs> that is too funny. That is so cute. That's a really funny idea because it's so true. Like when you have teenagers, they're just like, meh. Yeah, no. I'm over it. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to like your 20s and it's like, <laughs> take pictures of everything. <laughs> I know, we take pictures of everything. You do Christmas cards with your spouses. Joel and I, we need to get like pictures done of us three and the dog. He wants the dogs too, but I just, if you guys saw our Instagram versus reality, like picture on my Instagram of me trying to get pictures with the dogs and all of us. And then also we didn't have anyone taking our picture. It would have been a lot easier if we had someone here taking our picture. I had to do the timer. And then we had to like kind of run through this little jungle gym maze of all this stuff right here and try not to knock over everything and make it in time. It was, it was a chore. It was a chore. I wish I had the vlog going during that time because it was really funny. <laughs> you saw the picture with me like with Elsa and Ollie. I'm like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> like Elsa was not having it and then Joel tried to hold Elsa and then she started crying. <laughs> That's so sad. She was just like, I'm, I don't want to. So yeah. Aww. But anyways, um, oh look at little Ollie man. Look at little Ollie man. Are you a present of our tree? <gasps> Are you a present right there, tree? And she's passing out again. She's milk drunk. She's milk drunk. Joel's cooking. Did you in the grill? Yeah. This is what he's making tonight. He's making... Oh, right here. He's making the steak with garlic, chive butter, and then he also added corn on the cob, which is great. Yum, this is our home chef, so... He added um, the corn, but it came with the steak and then the carrots and the potatoes. And then he also has lemonade and water. This looks so good.
you doing, little rice? What you doing? Okay, let's see the video. I'm trying to find the funny part. Okay. Riley! Riley, Riley! Oh! <laughs> you're trying so hard. Why are you trying so hard? Oh. <laughs> Riley! You got a little laugh. Did you see that? <laughs> you <laughs> we're watching you on there all right so that is the end of our night i'm actually going to probably eat some dessert and then go and relax on the couch and wash my face and then get ready for bed so this vlog was actually kind of boring i really didn't do a whole lot today except for get the stuff together for the giveaways and all that which you know what let's just go ahead and do a mystery box giveaway in this video so comment um let's comment the baby face emoji so there's like a little baby face let's comment the baby face emoji down below if you guys want to enter to win the mystery box giveaway so just go and enter and yeah i will see you guys in our next vlog bye